Hello, today, uh, John here. I'm going to make a little macro. Uh, this was suggested by a user from the Corel Draw user forum. Um, how to use events in a simple way to update a form and show the size of the objects that are selected. Um, I think he even mentioned area, so maybe we'll tackle that too. So I got Corel X4 here, and everything's going to be pretty much the same with X5 and X6. I'm going to press Alt F11. Open up my uh, VBA editor, and I got a macro here that has nothing in it. It's just an empty blank GMS. So I'm just going to right click. I'm going to insert a form. Right click. I'm going to insert a module. I'm going to name my form uh, form main, and then we'll just uh, ls live size, I guess, just to be something different. Uh, let's put module. I'm just going to give it a quick name. Uh, GDG. And our event code will go in here in this macro storage. But let's open up our form first. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, text boxes. So we got one, two, three. And format align left. Format uh, vertical spacing uh, make equal, and we'll call this uh, txt width, and we'll call this txt. Let's go height for h, and we'll do this one txt a, and we'll do that'll be the area. And let's shrink this thing down a little bit. Select these again. Uh, format center and form uh, horizontally. Now let's make some little labels too. Why not? So we'll go with, and I'll go format uh, size to fit, and then I'll just copy and paste that, and then change the label property to H, and I'll change the label property to A. I could have also did it up here. Uh, select these. And I'm not going to get too detailed in it. I'm just going to line centers. That's about all I need to do for the, for the form. Try to keep it simple. Application events are going to go in your this macro storage, so I'll double click that. I'll cho choose global macro storage from the drop down list and then we'll go selection change. Uh, this is a very powerful event and it's going to get activated a whole lot. So when you got some uh, code in here, and I hope it's not a lot of code that does a lot of stuff, because every time you uh, make any change to the selection and draw, this whole th this is going to run whatever's in here. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to run a uh, let's run a module, or a uh, let's run a subroutine that's in a regular module, and we'll call this one update my form, just a name that I picked, oops, I forgot to put sub, and we want this to be a public sub, we want it to be seen by this guy, that's why I'm not putting private, if I was to put private, then then uh, this module here would not see, see it, so I'm leaving it public by not putting private in front of it. Also, I do not want this to show up in my tools options customization area. So here's a workaround to get around that. I'm going to make it take an optional parameter, optional, and I'll just give it my name creatively, inata, as an integer. And as long as a subroutine takes a parameter, be it an optional parameter, um, it will not show up in your tools customization as something you can customize with a keyboard short shortcut or an icon. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm just going to make a sub that does show up in my tools customization area. And we're going to call this uh, Live Size. I guess that'll be the name of the macro. And uh, and all it's going to do is show the form when you run the push the button on your keyboard or whatever, whatever you set up. So I'm going to go Control J on my keyboard and we're going to go Form Main Live Size dot show and that's a method and I'll go bb modeless and that 
BB modulus is something I like to use. That way I can work and draw and the form will uh, just, well, I'll try to explain it better in, in a second. Let me, let me run it. I can work and draw with the form open. If I took that perimeter away, you see I can't. The form needs an, an input. It won't let me. Or we can just put a zero here. Okay, and this one's going to update the form. So what's it's going to do? I'm going to hit Control J, form main, live size dot, and my text uh, width. And I'm going to make set this property equal to all shapes size property width. Pretty self-explanatory line of code here. The text box, I'm setting its property to equal the size width of the active selection range. Everything that's selected at that moment. I'm going to copy this. Tab. Control V, Control V. <clears throat> I'm just going to change the H, and you'll watch lowercase goes to capital. That means I got it right. And then we'll go size width. H -E -I -G -H -T. Copy this. Put a times in there. And I think that's everything. And take a look at that code. It's pretty simple. We got area is the size width times the height. Okay, this sub is going to get run when? Well, with any selection change. So we want to run that sub. So we could even go gdg dot, dot uh, update my form. Or since it's public, you don't even need the gdg. And let's run this macro and check it out, see what's about. So I'm going to run here. Hopefully, we don't have no bugs. Oh, let's round it off. We got some big ass values in there. So we we'll use a VBA method here, round, and we'll round it three decimal places. So I'll just copy this. Control V. Control V. Go to the end, comma three. And this is a VBA function. If you want to find out about it, you can put your uh, your mouse cursor there and you press F1 on your keyboard and it will bring up the round function. It takes an expression. An expression is anything with value and its optional parameter is the number of decimal places. So I guess if you don't leave this it'll just round it up to the nearest whole number. So we're going to leave it with three decimal places. So don't forget if you ever have uh, you're curious about a function, you can put your mouse cursor there and just press F1. If it's a Corel draw function, like this size width here, and I press F1, it'll bring up the Corel draw object model help and tell you all about that property or method or whatever else it has to be. So I'm going to put my cursor here in the live size uh, sub, and I'm going to press play. And there we go. Let's check this out, see how it runs. I'm going to turn off snapping because it's a pain in the butt. And you see our height is changing, our area. If we had a couple objects here, it would just give us the size of everything. And every time I make a change or a move, it's actually running every time I move this, even move it. So gives us our width, height, and area. Pretty cool. If I wanted to put this in my tools up here, like on a shortcut or whatever, tools, customization, commands, we'll go macros. And GDG live size. And there it is. I could choose this icon, shortcut key, you know the deal, whatever you want. And run the macro. Pretty cool, and I hope this helps out the user that asked the question about it. Have a good one, everybody.